I'm Philip Ward, Editor-in-Chief of ArmMiniEurope.com, and I'm at the European Congress of Radiology in Vienna with Dr. Catherine Mandel, who is from Australia, and her participation this week shows the growing involvement of radiologists from outside of Europe in the Congress. And Dr. Mandel is an expert on errors in radiology. And Catherine, I think you maintain a database of cases of errors? I'm the lead radiologist on the Radiology Events Register, or RARE, which is actually ma managed by the Royal Australian New Zealand College of Radiologists, has been funded by the Australian Federal Government, and the database is maintained and analysed by the Australian Patient Safety Foundation, which is great because that's an independent organisation, so it removes the database from anyone who makes a regulatory or other professional impact on the Excellent. Report. So how many cases do you have on the database? We have over 4,000 cases at present. Accumulating more every day. And how long has that been built it, up? It started in 2006 as a pilot project mm -hmm. and was then developed into a, a binational project with New Zealand as well as Australia. Okay. Is it something that only the, the Australian and New Zealand radiologists can access or can mm -hmm. radiologists overseas and access it? Anyone from anywhere can report an incident. You don't have to be a radiologist, it's open to radiographers, nurses, referrers, patients, family members, clerical staff. It's international, so anyone from anywhere who's had some incident occur in radiology, including any MS, can put a case into it. Excellent, good. Now, in terms of actual types of errors that you encounter, um, in your experience, what are the, the most common types of errors that, that arise? Errors of learning communication are very common, whether that be communication from referrer to radiologist, within radiology, or from radiologist back to referrer. Okay. So that's a very common cause. Right. And in terms of the actual causes of those errors, is it, is it often down to inexperience or, or lack of training? Are those common reasons or, or excessive workload? I think there are many causes and because the database doesn't have strict fields, we don't necessarily capture all the information. But errors can be due to not seeing or diagnosing something. Mm -hmm. It may be due to a delay in diagnosis. It may be due to uh, workload and fatigue, interruption is a very big problem um, because it's very easy when doing a complex report not to remember something if you're interrupted. Um, not knowing the full story can be important. Um, and again, the lack of communication is a major contributor. Excellent. Now, for our viewers who, of course, don't make any errors in their work, no, they, they don't make errors, but how can they, what can they do to avoid making errors in the future? What advice would you have based on your database and your analysis of it? Everyone who does any work will get things wrong sometimes. It's part of the human condition. And the important thing is to recognise that things are going wrong, to be reflective about it so that we can learn from the experience and to share the experience to stop it happening again. So I think reflection and thinking safety is really important in making practice safer. And presumably openness as well, but yes. frank discussions, um, not the blame culture that is, it seems to be apparent in some hospitals. Blame culture is unfortunately all too common in healthcare. We need to be more like aviation and have a safety culture where people discuss openly and frankly what happened, where people are not blamed for things that they're not responsible for, but where people are still accountable for their actions. In other words, a just culture. Okay. Do you, do you measure something like age? Would you, would you look at the age of the radiologist who's made the error? We don't actually record that, but if people want to put down an experience or other factors as a contributing cause, then they're welcome to do so. Okay. And what about whether the person is a man or a woman? Is, is, it, is it more common for a man to make mistakes we, than a woman? Or? We don't have that data. Okay. What, what, what would your perception be, perhaps? I think that it's, it's equally common. I think that it's more a matter of being able to think reflective about one's practice, to think in a safety manner and not to be too gung ho about just doing things. I think the days of see one, do one, teach one, and of just do it, one that's really gone. And in the 21st century, we have to be more of the fact that we're all not perfect, and we all need to think reflectively and be open and ask for help when we need it. Excellent. Now, you're on the council of the Royal College in Australia yes. and New Zealand. What, what, um, have you had a positive response from the, your colleagues on the council? The, the council is very supportive of the Radiology Events Register, and we're using it as part of our training now. All our registrars have to report at least one case per year. So we're trying to develop the safety culture by getting our trainees involved. Excellent. Now for our readers who want to find out more, is there a website that you would direct them to very, very much? Where, w sh where should they go to? www.raer.org. Okay, excellent. Well, you're also you're involved on Saturday in a management and radiology session. 
Um, could you just speak briefly about what you'll be talking about on Saturday? I'm talking about the importance of incident reporting in terms of developing a safety culture and how that improves patient-centered care. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, best of luck with that. Thank and you. I hope you enjoy your, your week in Vienna. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Thank you.